In this short video clip, I will show you how to choose um, a distillation column in order to separate two different components. In this case, we have two um, feed stream which um, uh, which you're dealing with in your high school assignment as well. This is a simplified version of the um, distillation column that you can use. So for these uh, streams, we do have them at almost the same pressure that you're supposed to get them, and the composition uh, is known as well. So what I do is that I add a distillation column here. I choose the number of trays to be 90. I'll add these two um, streams, so I'll add feed and add the recovered methanol as well. Um, based on the pressure, I choose the um, feed stream to be into the 65, 65th tray and the methanol one, the recovered methanol one at 75th. And I do have the light ends on the top. And methanol as the distilled product. So as I said, this is the um, simplified version. So I try not to use fusel oil and not to have methanol as a side stream, but as the distilled product. Just name the uh, reboiler and the condenser streams as Q1 and Q2, and the bottom product is water. So the required information in this page are given, so I click on next. I'll choose once through for the reboiler type and give the condenser and reboiler pressures. So based on the pressure of the streams, I choose that this the condenser pressure is 140 and the reboiler pressure is 220. So it will be the right range. I won't give any uh, temperature estimation or um, the reflux ratio or the rate. So now, based on this situation, I need to specify um, three different variables here. So three different specifications, actually, I need, I, I need to be given in order to uh, solve this and finish the simulation. So I, you can add the specifications by clicking on Add Spec, and then choose the specifications that you know about. So for example, I know that my uh, that in this column, I want the, the methanol fraction, methanol fraction in um, the stream that I called methanol, I want it to be like 0.99. So I add that. I can add the same thing for water in the stream, the bottom stream, which I call water. So I'll pump 0.99 for water. So I need to specify one more thing. And the other thing that I can specify is that I know that I'll have the gases in this stream, which is light end. So for example, I can specify uh, the flow rate of CO2, let's say, which is at 5.23, I can specify that all of that will go through light ends. So the molar flow rate of CO2 in light ends would be 5.23. So I can go to this window again, click on Add Spec, I'll add um, column component flow. And here, for this stream, which I call light ends, I will specify this one should be 5.23 for CMT. Now, as soon as I do this, um, I have to tick these boxes so that Hysis will take these three specifications as the main specifications for this column. So I tick these three, and this is converged. 